We're going to take a look at kids who stole their parents' vehicles for reasons that are nothing short of shocking. Make sure to watch the entire video as you'll not believe what happens when a kid steals his dad's car to buy a PS5 to play Fortnite. We have a kid who takes his mom's car while she is shopping. A 13-year-old kid agreed to go on a shopping trip with his mom, but he had a completely different plan in mind when he jumped into the car with her once the two of them reached the store. He told his mother that he was going to go somewhere else, leaving out the part that he was going to go steal her car. He's going to go back and get her when we're going to run out and say we're going to go somewhere else. I don't know how high this is. I haven't really drove a lot, but let's just go for it. And the boy's hopes and dreams of taking the car out for a spin were shortly crushed. When his mom exited the store and discovered that her car, along with her son, were nowhere in sight, and she found her son cruising around in her car carelessly having the time of his life. That's when all the broke loose, and it's safe to say that the boy got the scolding of a lifetime. His response, well, he had enough nerves to tell his mother that she was a buzzkill. Highway patrol officers in Utah who pulled over a speeding car discovered, to their surprise, that the driver was a five-year-old who was headed to the nearby state of California to buy a Lamborghini for himself. Police officials discovered that after an argument, the boy had driven off in his parents' car with $3 to buy the sports car that cost thousands of dollars. According to the Utah Highway Patrol, who shared the bizarre story online, the minor had left home after an argument with mother in which she told him she would not buy him a Lamborghini, so he took matters into his own hands and decided to drive to California to buy the car himself. A trooper spotted the vehicle weaving on Interstate 15 at 30 miles per hour, the Utah Highway Patrol said. The conversation between the child and the police officials was caught on the dash cam and radio. How old are you? You're a five-year-old? Trooper Rick Morgan says, wow, where did you learn to drive a car? He was sitting on the front edge of the seat so that he could reach the brake pedal to keep the car stopped while I was standing there, Morgan told local news channel. People on social media were mostly confused how the child learned to drive while others were left in splits. Most thought he might get a punishment after he reached home, while others said the kid is a legend and deserves a ride in a Lamborghini. However, as his story went viral, the boy did get a ride in a Lamborghini, even if he didn't get to keep it. Lamborghini aficionado and owner Jeremy Neves took the boy for a ride in his dream vehicle. Talking to Desert News, Neves said he wanted to cheer up the little boy who turned six next month. Photos showed him embracing the shy child who didn't say much but could be seen smiling and inspecting the car. Maybe he's getting punished, maybe he's getting grounded, maybe he's got some chores to do. I can relate to that. Neves was quoted as saying by the Daily, At the time, though, I thought it would be really cool to say your dreams aren't as far away as you think they are. According to the report, the boy has long dreamed of owning his own red Lamborghini and spends hours watching YouTube videos of sports cars racing around. With both parents at work on Monday, the boy took the keys to the family car while his sister was asleep and drove off. You never expect what kids are capable to do. A little boy in Cleveland spent the night behind bars after he stole his family's car and led police on a dangerous high-speed chase. The pursuit started around 8.30 a.m. on Thursday when the 10-year-old child was supposed to be waiting for his older sister to take him to school. It ended around 9.45 a.m. after an officer forced the child to crash into a police cruiser. Police dash cam video shows several cop cars chasing after the young driver as he flies down the Ohio Turnpike. At one point, the child avoids running over a spike strip by driving on the grass in the side of the road. Chase comes to an end when an officer hits the back of the boy's car, causing him to hit another cruiser. Officers quickly swarm the vehicle, yelling at the kid to roll the window down. He's then handcuffed and placed in the back of a squad car. News 5 reports that as the boy was getting arrested, he allegedly spit on an officer and kicked another cop in the chin. Lieutenant Richard Reeder said the pursuit lasted about an hour and speeds topped 100 miles per hour. According to Cleveland.com, the boy decided to snatch his mother's boyfriend's car keys and take off as his sister was in the bathroom. The boy hopped in her car and followed her son, calling 911 for help. At one point during the call, the mother told the dispatcher she was worried her son would get into an accident. The outlet reports that the child was driving around 90 miles per hour. State police picked up the pursuit when the child entered Interstate 80. 
According to officers, this isn't the first time the child has gotten in trouble for stealing a car. Last week, he took his mom's car for a joyride through Cleveland. Police said he only stopped during that incident because the car got three flat tires. Christopher Hampton, the child's father, told News 5 his son stole the car a second time because he got away with it the first time. He thinks everything's funny, he said. He thinks because he got away with it the first time, they aren't going to do nothing to him this time. The child was charged with felony fleeing and eluding. A hearing will be held Friday to determine if he'll remain in a juvenile detention center. Always the situation may got crazy with your kid. There's a scary trend of news stories over the years in which kids get behind the wheel of a car. There was the five-year-old Utah boy who drove off in mom's Dodge on a quest to buy himself a Lamborghini, or the 10-year-old who led troopers on a 100-mile-per-hour chase before crashing, and an 8-year-old who took his friends and a goat on a joyride, or the 7-year-old in Utah a dozen years ago who drove off to avoid going to church. Now, adding to this amusing yet dangerous canon are two Utah sisters. That's right. This is the third case out of Utah. The girls, age 9 and 4, apparently woke up before their parents, got dressed, grabbed the keys, and took off in the family car Wednesday. The reason? They wanted to go to the beach in California and swim in the ocean. I guess they were intending to start their summer vacation a little early, a police spokeswoman said. However, the girls crashed their car into a tractor trailer along the way. Fortunately, no one was hurt. The saga began in West Jordan, Utah. Police there said the nine-year-old who was driving piloted the car into a freeway and then exited onto another highway. Though eastbound, at some point they bumped into a pickup truck, whose driver, not knowing a child was behind the wheel but assuming instead that the driver was impaired, decided to follow their car. Before long, he discovered the driver of the other vehicle was not impaired but was in fact a nine-year-old female driving with her four-year-old sister. West Valley Police Lieutenant Bill Merritt told KSL-TV. The girls exited the highway, crossed a median into oncoming traffic, and struck the tractor trailer head-on. Police said the driver's side airbag deployed, but the passenger airbag for the four-year-old did not. Fortunately, both girls were wearing their seatbelts, and neither they nor the semi-driver were injured. So a lucky outcome for all, but scary stuff. In the body cam footage below, the ton of the responding officer's voice sums up the situation well when he says, she's driving? This kid is surely incredible. Where are those kids we've put all through waiting forever after a lot of grilling and yelling? He finally confessed to his parents that he was able to buy the PS5 with his mom's credit card that he stole it. Seems like all the trouble he went through to get that game console went to waste as his parents grounded him and banned him from hooking the PS5 up and playing it. Keep watching as we have a kid who takes his dad's car to buy a PS5 from GameStop. Coming up next, what a PS5 for the PS5, what did you get? How would you get a PS5? I bought it, there was only $100 on this gift card, but how did you get a piano? No, that's more than $100, Leland. I know what you did. You didn't steal it, did you? I bought it. Guess how much you bought it with? You have a credit card? Are you serious? You got mom's credit card? So now you're stealing from your mom. At number two, we have a kid who runs over his dad while going to GameStop to buy a PS5. If you thought you're done with the adventures of a kid who stole his mom's credit card, <laughs> we're over. Well, you're in for a surprise this time. We took matters in our own hands and decided to drive himself to GameStop to get a PS5 to play Fortnite. So I'm going to go to GameStop and pre-order the PS5. Bye, guys. Uh, sure. All right, let's go. And when he said that, nothing is going to come in between him and that PS5. He really meant it because within a couple of seconds of driving the car, the kid managed to run his dad over. While he was trying to stop him from getting out of the driveway, the kid not only stole his dad's car, but he also wanted to go to GameStop to buy a PS5 instead of stopping to check up on his dad. He figured that the accident was not that serious and continued on driving to get his. He looks okay. I'm going to get out of there. He looks okay. Um, oh, okay. I'm not good, but it's not that good, but that was not good. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, he's lifting up his leg. Might be broken, but he's still walking. Number one, a 10 year old boy takes his parents' car for a joy ride when a 10 year old boy told his parents that he's making a trip to the grocery store to get eggs. Never in a million years did they expect him to steal their car in order to get himself to the store. The young boy even chose to make his drive on a rainy day, something that people try to avoid as much as possible to avoid any accidents as he was confident in his ability to drive 
that he constantly took his hands off the wheel and even looked away while he was speeding up. When you think things can't get any worse, the kid surprises everyone with a plot twist that had us all fooled. You know, it's a rainy day today, so I think I'm going to ride. It's going to be fun. Oh God, I don't even know how to drive this thing. Going to get some kids who doesn't like kids. I can try from, oh no, this is my hands. Let's take a nap, you know? Oh, how about this? That's it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed watching it. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.